They argue that science and religion conflict and that science undermines the credibility of belief in God. That's their argument. Stephen, tell us more about what the new atheists argue and the so-called conflict thesis between religion on one side and science on the other side. Sure, and many of your viewers would have already encountered these right. arguments and ideas. Certainly many of our students encounter them when they go through university. But the basic idea of the new atheism is that science properly understood undermines belief in God. And therefore there's an inherent conflict between the evidence we have about the natural world as reported by scientists and a belief in the deity. And Richard Dawkins perhaps explains this case best. He's brilliant at, at framing arguments. Mm -hmm. And he says that up until the 19th century, there was powerful evidence for the existence of God. And that was in the evidence of design that we have in the natural world. But since Darwin, we know that that evidence of design is illusory. It's merely the appearance of design, not actual design. And he says that because, according to Darwin's theory, there's an undirected, unguided process that can produce the appearance of design, the illusion of design, without there being a designing mind or intelligence guiding that process in any way. So we have design without a designer. That's the Darwinian view. And so since the 19th century, you've had the view that science and religion are in conflict. There's no public evidence for God. And as Dawkins puts it, therefore, you can believe in God if you want to, but it's essentially what he calls a delusion. He writes this book, The God Delusion. Now, the new atheists have gone further and said, well, not only are science and faith or science and belief in God in conflict today, but essentially they've always been in conflict. The scientific way of knowing and the religious way of knowing are completely different, and scientific evidence has always conflicted with religious belief. And so those are the two main propositions. They're in conflict now, and they've always been in conflict throughout the history of science and its relationship with religion. Yeah, and in your book, you challenge this.